Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So first, I want to apologize for not posting Tuesday and Saturday. Your girl has been all over the place, but I am back. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about things we can do to get prepared for spring. I did a video about bags and things that bags that are good for the spring but I don't think I actually went through anything as far as the clothes that we currently have in our closets and our wardrobes that we could actually use for this current spring that are pretty much classic pieces if you've been following me for a really long time you already know that I swear by basic classic pieces and when I, I don't like to say the word basic I like to use the word essentials because these are the pieces that you can wear time and time again and they'll never go out of style so with that being said i'm gonna break down some of the things that you probably already have in your closet that you can wear this spring first thing is button-up shirts you guys know i love a button-up shirt whether it's a cotton button-up shirt a linen button-up shirt an oversized button-up shirt or even a crop button-up shirt and when i mean by button-up i mean a white button-up shirt those are classic pieces. They will carry you through winter, spring, summer, and fall. The reason why I like white button-up shirts is because you can wear them tied up. You can wear them open with like a tube top under it. Some girls who are on the shorter side <laughs> can wear them as dresses with like cute little sandals. It really just depends. But a white button-up shirt is essential for spring. And girls, if you don't have one, in your closet right now because you probably do definitely go out and pick one up from pretty much anywhere you want something that is going to be breathable so go for something that has a really nice blend and if you do not want to spend a ton of money check out places like banana republic the men's section they have really nice button-up shirts that are cotton but the oversized fit of them are really nice. And this is for the tall girls who struggle with finding shirts to fit their sleeves, to fit their arms. <laughs> Definitely go for Banana Republic. I have a really nice one that I just so happen to stumble across. It's not linen and it's not that regular material of a white button up shirt, but it's like in between. Love it. I actually got it from an outlet absolutely love it so a white button-up shirt is something that you should have this spring and you probably already have it in your closet the second thing you want to have this spring would be straight leg jeans okay for my tall girls jeans are a struggle in general but straight jeans are even harder to be quite honest because what they're doing is they're making a lot of skinny jeans still for us or they're making jeans that are kind of like on the balloon side and some of us really don't have a ton of hips myself included so balloon jeans kind of don't really work for us but you can find jeans at I'm gonna say the place you guys know I don't shop there <laughs> good old fashion over <laughs> the girls are buying their jeans from there because they're really long I had a client who she's like six I, I keep I, I hope I'm not messed up she was I think six four uh, and she bought jeans from there so don't sleep on them check them out also you guys know I, I always get creative when it comes to jeans if I see something at Zara that is like slightly hitting I'm either gonna get it cropped or I am going to get two of them and have my tailor work her magic. I'll show you guys in another video what I did to the pants that I told you guys that I was going to actually um, crop. Maybe I'll try them on and then do a snippet in here. But they came out really, really nice. So just get creative when it comes to jeans, but you definitely need a really nice pair of jeans. If you want something that's gonna take you through the entire spring, go for something that is classic in style maybe not so much distress on them because it can kind of give away if you wore the pants twice child <laughs> but get something a little bit more classic so a straight pair of jeans really nice fitting jeans is going to be an essential for this fall and you probably already have it in your closet third thing is going to be trench coats now there are trench coats that have a lining in them. If you have that already in your closet, there is no need to buy another trench coat. Here's why. Take the lining 
out. If your trench coat is a color that you may not necessarily want to wear in the spring because you guys know there's multiple styles of trench coats, one and two, multiple colors. So there's some that's more on the lighter color side that will fit better for spring and then some that have like a darker like grayish color that you may not want to wear in the spring but they have cropped trench coats meaning cropped sleeves uh they have some that are very very tailored at the waist they have some that are like midi length they have some that are long but have a trench coat for those nights that are cool because summer is not here. <laughs> so we do know at nighttime it still gets a little bit cooler. So a trench coat is an essential for the spring and you probably already have it in your closet. Fourth thing is going to be my good old favorite satin skirts. Okay. As a tall girl, finding maxi skirts are very hard for us, okay? Norma Kamali has a really long satin mat satin satin maxi skirt that I purchased and I want to say it's called the Obi skirt I think it is if I have a video I'll pop in a video and it's very long it actually looks like the Saint Laurent skirt but at a fraction of the cost girls <laughs> it's still not the cheapest but it's maxi um, if you don't want to get something maxi you can definitely go for something that is midi Satin skirts will always be in. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. I have seen girls wear these things a ton of ways and definitely go for maxi skirts. And with that being said, you also wanna get you a really nice denim skirt. Denim skirts are always going to be in, in my opinion. I think they are classic. Um, you can get a maxi denim skirt. Some girls don't like it. They feel like they just a little bit too covered up. Or you can get like a mini. Now for the tall girls, I don't know about you. I don't do mini skirts. <laughs> but if you do, go for something that has like kind of like cargo style pockets. Especially if you do not have like a larger hip area. Anything a little bit straight, you may not like it. But something with like some pockets will look really, really cute for this fall will look really really cute for this spring and you probably already have it in your closet girls so check those closets before you go out and buy anything the goal is not to always buy things if you buy in pieces it can be something that is unique and you don't have it uh, but most of the time you have a lot of the stuff that comes back and forth when it comes to trends and you don't really have to buy it again here's an example the Gucci horse bit bag the girls are not buying the newest bag. They're going on the pre-love market and they're finding the old vintage, vintage bag because they do actually look a little bit better. So think about that when you are actually shopping. But denim skirts and satin skirts are another essential that you should have this spring and you probably already have it in your closet. All right, so the other item you should have is a lightweight blazer. Go for something that is linen or even satin, okay? Now the satin one, you may not be able to wear on a really hot day, but definitely something you can wear if you're going out for brunch and you're in like a cooler area. But I love to get my blazer sleeves cropped. Girls, because it's so fabulous. If you have not cropped a blazer at the sleeves, you are missing out on having a unique piece in your closet. For the tall girls, we already know the struggle is real when it comes to finding something that's gonna fit us all the way down to the wrist. Um, it's not that it's not possible, but it's harder when you see something that is kind of like on trend. They usually don't fit us, but we can chop, chop, chop at the tail of girls. So having a really nice blazer is something that you probably already have in your closet probably from a few years ago maybe even a linen one that you are going to need this spring if you have something that's oversized even better you can wear that a ton of ways if not that's still fine as well but definitely check your closet for a nice lightweight blazer for this spring and girls like i said you probably already have it in your closet and the last pretty much essential piece and item that you probably already have in your closet are certain shoes. All right, flats are always gonna be in. Some little nice little slides that are classic in style. A lot of the girls like to wear the Hermes Oran sandals, 
Those are cute, but <laughs> expensive. Zara always comes out with their slides every single year. The only thing about Zara slides is that depending on where they were made, they may be a little bit more narrow as opposed to others. I have quite a few pair of them and the white pair that I have, they definitely feel like real leather and they feel more comfortable than the black ones. I don't know, they just seem different in size, but a pair of cute slides will be perfect for this spring. Also along with slides, y'all know kitty heels <laughs> came back out okay i used to love wearing slingbacks back in the day and slingbacks to me are always going to be a classic i came across a website called mm, let me see if i can find it guys i think it was called nice shoe please tell me i didn't take it off my screen i did i think it was called like nice shoes or something like that not a luxury brand or anything like that however they had a bunch of slingback shoes for like 150 dollars and different colors and they were leather okay so you don't always have to buy something that is super luxury um and they went up to a really large size if i can find it i am gonna link it below because i just was googling the other day and, and i came across it and i was so tempted to order but got sidetracked of course but if you are wanting a pair of shoes, definitely go for some slingbacks. And the last pair of shoes would be some really nice peep toes. Well, not even the last pair. Some peep toe shoes with a heel. Something that's comfortable that you can wear with some jeans. Something that you can wear with skirts and dresses. Something that is going to fit your wardrobe aesthetic. Now, what you probably have in your closet right now would be some nice slides. Oh, and the last pair, a pair of like strappy sandals. You probably already have some strappy sandals. You probably already have some peep toe, but not so much the kitten heel <laughs> sling bags. Don't spend a lot of money, ladies, if you really don't have to, if you, especially if you're not into it and you just wanna jump into the trend, get something that's affordable, still something that's leather, so you won't waste your money, but definitely get all of those shoes if you don't already have them in your closet, but you probably do, but those are some shoes that I would deem as essentials for this spring. If you are just starting out and building a wardrobe, if you notice, I do not have a ton of clothes. And the reason why is because I shop based on my wardrobe needs, not based on what's trendy. So when it comes to spring, I'm always gonna have stuff that is great quality because I go for things that are classic in style that I can wear a ton of ways. So even if a trend was to come out and I don't really like it, but I wanna try it, I can mix it with something that I already have to fit my personal style. I hope that makes sense. So before you go out shopping and buying a slew of things, definitely check out your closet, try things on, play dress up, put some music on, this is what I used to do back in the day and figure out what you have. You might be surprised. You might not need anything. Maybe a pair of slides, maybe a bag or something. But trust me, the stuff is there. It's in your closet, guys. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco. We see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog. Coco Styles NYC. Guys, please check out the blog. It's amazing. Absolutely love it. And also, my style services, Coco Styles NY.com. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.